Geeks. Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. And today we're going to take a look at Privizer. Privizer? Privizer? Yeah, call it what you want. It's a hardcore hard drive cleaning program with an emphasis on security and privacy. C Cleaner, Wise Disk Cleaner, Jet Clean, they all do a really good job. C Cleaner being the most conservative, safest of the bunch. Consider this the exact opposite end of the spectrum. If you don't understand computers and you don't understand the stuff going on inside your computer, you can still run it, but it can be pretty hardcore. And we'll show you why, so the video will probably go a little bit long. I've run it once, and I've set up my INI file, which is an option once you finish this. You can either jump right to the main menu or adapt to your needs. Now, you want to adapt to your needs if you're not a geek or a nerd and just set it up through the basic user. I think there's maybe 10 steps you got to go through. Take your time to set it up. It's worth it in the long run. You only have to do it once. Everything else is faster and easier once you get through the first setup. But since I have this, I can always run it. But we're going to jump to the main menu and try and go through this as quickly as we can for you. This is what you consider the main page. You can specifically decide what you want to do and just run one or two things as needed or just run the clean and go. You can switch right here with a very simple click of the button, basic or advanced, and you just simply click OK if you want to get in here and take a look around at some of the stuff. I've, I've already run a clean, so there won't be too much to find. But And again, just to give you an example, some of the stuff, for example, the U... SN journal you might not have heard of. It's the update sequence number journal. Basically, it keeps track of files that have changed in your file history since the last backup. It can come up with a whole ton of those. Your first scan, again, will be slow, but you want to go ahead, give it a quick scan, and just kind of walk away a little bit. And um, there we go. You can start the cleaner, you can shut the PC down, you can change the priority. There's your max priority. That should speed up our scan. You can create a restore point. Always a good idea. And save the registry, which you can see over here. It does save it right here in a folder for you, which is something you're going to want to consider because when you start moving stuff out of the registry, it's a good idea to have a backup. And I'm going to hit a quick pause here. It shouldn't be too long, but just in case, I'll be right back. Oh, wait a minute. Wow, it's flying now. All right, we'll be right back. And we're back. As you can see, it didn't take me too long. Of course, I've already scanned before, so once again, I can't stress it enough. It's all about the initial setup because it's much faster afterwards. So now you have, you can just get out of it. You can go ahead and clean it, but more importantly, you probably want to look at some of your cleanup options here. Uh, whether it's the flash drive you're cleaning or the hard disk, you have your options on how you're going to clean up. Now, for example, secure overwriting will make things unrecoverable for the security privacy nut. Free space cleanup is just plain and simply just gets rid of what it needs to. And of course, that's just memory. So more importantly, with the secure overwriting, what you want to look at is how many times you want to do it. Typically, three to five passes should be adequate. As you can see, this will go nuts and go to 35 passes. But keep in mind, one pass will be a little slower. 7 will be even slower, 35 will be ridiculously slow. So you just hit the OK, and you go ahead and hit Clean when you're done. It'll clean everything up for you. And once again, it's even going to give you estimated times, keeping in mind it really depends on how you want to do it. So what I'm going to do is just do the normal deletion, do the turbo for speed, and let her rip right through there, get it all finished up. It should only take a few minutes, and once again, I'll be right back. And just briefly right back, I wanted to show you, you can shut down when you're finished and you can boost. Come on, boost. Thank you. And the boost really speeds it up a lot. Otherwise, uh, you could be sitting around for a while. So it's a good idea to not be using your computer while this is going on. This can actually be pretty CPU intensive. It really slowed my machine down a pretty good bit. So there you go. And once again, I will be right back. And we're back. All cleaned up. All you gotta do here is hit close. And that's it, you're back at the main screen. Pretty much as simple as that. I love to keep these videos under five minutes, but I just can't stress enough for you on this video that 
it's all about that first time setup and it's not that intense but if you really are concerned about your security and privacy i don't think there's another cleaner on the market that does anywhere near in depth what this thing does so up to you again if you don't feel comfortable with it c cleaner is nice safe and conservative i've never seen a computer get damaged using c cleaner and that's about it so if you get a chance take a minute to subscribe we thank you for watching as always and we'll see you next time